everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to another pack opening video. This time, it is for the Strategy Alliance Packs. They seem to be doing this every month. Every month now, you know, sometimes they it would be sort of every six weeks. Now it seems to be every three to four weeks that they're doing a pack, which is, I guess is okay. I guess is okay. So, last time I gave you guys a chance to win a super crate of this pack, and I can now reveal that the three winners... Alan Shoria from T3M4 server, Yogi from the Jedi Covenant server, and believe it or not, Allura again, who won in the last pack video from the Tomb of Freedom Nad server. I know, you can win again. Just gonna point that out. If you've won before, you can win again. So don't don't feel like you can't put your name down. You can. You can. So congratulations to all three of you. You've won yourself a super crate of this shipment. And if you would like a chance to win one of three of a super crate of the next shipment, which will no doubt be in January, then all you got to do is post your character name, your server, and whether you are Republic or Empire by the next pack video, which, like I said, will most likely be January, because they're doing it pretty much every month, which I guess is okay. You know, it helps them get their money, I guess. So there we go. So, what are they boasting this time? This time there's a Malgus. Malgus, uh, armor. Yes. Oh yeah, of course I'll get I'll get the 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 the, the anniversary rewards because I'm locked in. Oh, have they not arrived yet? Are they not in my mail until a certain date? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So, I guess we better get opening, shall we? Shall we? I feel a bit weird today. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm going with the flow. Well, I do that every 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 time I do a video. Really, just go with the flow. But of course, because because my new job is working in a call center, I, I I'm constantly using a headset and microphone, and I just feel like I don't know. Everything feels scripted to me now. Obviously, I know every I know everything in my head, what I've got to say in my head, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm just going with it now. Yes. Oh, also, one thing that they've changed with the Strategy Alliance pack now is that they've added an extra thing again now. So if you remember, like, in the old pack videos, you'd have, like, two or three items plus uh, maybe some scrap and a companion gift. Well, now you can get two items, a companion gift, and some scrap. So they've added an extra item for you, which is good. Which is good, so there's more stuff for me to get, but no doubt my inventory will get full once again. I thought I'd escape that, but I guess I should be glad that I now get four items, really. I should be glad, not complaining, but my 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 my, my inventory is going to be full now, so... Anyway, the first pack contains... Uh, the Zerka Z3B mount? Is that a mount? Yes, it is a mount. What is that even supposed to be? Let's take a look at that. That looks... Very interesting. Zerka, it's... What was it? What was it? It was the the Z3B. There it is. Oh, I, I, it, it kind of looked like... um I don't know what it looked like, really. Like the whole mount was going to be over my head. But no, it's not. This is kind of a bit plain. It's very, very plain. But it's red. Well, it's orangey red. Is it red or is it orange? It's tan. It's a tan coloured, but... There we go, it's very basic, to be honest, no doubt that will only go for, I don't know, a couple 10,000, maybe, if anything on the GTN, but we'll see. Uh, also the Armoury Locker, which I haven't actually got one of those, because of course it's brand new, so let us take a look at that. That is actually quite wicked. I like that. That is very nice. It would be nice if you actually could click it and then it would close. Unless there's like a button that I'm missing, there's like a secret button. Oh, they should have done that. They should have added a secret button which would open it. Oh, that would have been amazing. Byro, can you add that? Can you add like a secret button to open and close it? Please, that would be amazing. I mean, you got, you know, the doors almost. Although, you, I suppose it's, you need to add like, well, you got this. And then you have to you need to add like a little bit once this comes down. So you need to add like a bit in the middle or something. But there we go. There is the armory locker. And of course, we have companion gift and assorted droid parts, which... We don't care about. Well, I obviously care about the droid parts, but yeah. The next pack contains. Oh my God! The MSN JT9 jetpack. Jetpacks go for quite a lot of money. A lot of money. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you. Let me show. You. Whether this jetpack will go for a lot of money, I don't know. But if I were to type in jetpack, yeah, about. 10 million, maybe more, depending on what server you're on. 
So, um, yeah, and it's, is it that is it that particular jetpack? Was it? I oh, know this is JT9. Okay. Well, there we go. That will go for a lot of money. Wait. So this one. Well, actually, I don't know now because that one looked like it said it had a flourish. Or was it? Oh no, it's the J. It's J37 that has the flourish. Okay. Um, but my one doesn't have a flourish. But we'll take a look at that anyway. I mean, I know I'm going to be losing out on a lot of money here, but I'm a, I'm I'm a mount collector, and if I get them in my in my cartel packs. I have to accept it. I have to. I have to take it for myself. I mean, at least I can now say I have a jetpack because I don't own a jetpack yet. So, say goodbye to about 8 million credits. <laughs> Unless I get another one, but we'll take a look at that. That was a lucky drop, wasn't it? There we are. Right, uh, MSM JT9 jetpack. And there it is. In all its glory. And then you just fly around. Whee! I can now say I have a jetpack. That is so amazing. I really like this. Oh, that is amazing. I may have to put this next to my random mount button so that if I want to be on a jetpack, I can be. Oh, that is amazing. I love this. I love owning a jetpack. That's amazing. Why is why is that door lighting up blue? Um, Oh, it's only when you put your mouth... Okay, I was going to say, it's only when you put your mouse over it. That's fine. But I love that I got myself a jetpack now. That is amazing. I am so glad of that. Thank you, Bioware. And we've also got another armory locker, which I'll take. I want two armory lockers because I'll, I'll place them somewhere. Why not? Uh, the next pack contains hopefully something amazing. Maybe Malchus's armor? Maybe? No? No? Okay. The Moonlight Vrake. Uh, unlocks the Moonlight Vrake creature mount. Movement speed increase. Uh, I thought it said it had a flourish, but it doesn't. Uh, the Moonlight Vrake is a feline omnivore that can be found on Makeb. Good to know. Good to know. We shall take a look at that. And here it is. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, it looks nice. Although, I, these, these these sort of wing things, I get the feeling they could smack into Kranatoko at any time. You know, well, they practically are. They're, they are slapping against his face. <laughs> oh, poor Kranatoko. He's been slapped like mad there. Oh, no. Well, there we are. Got myself a rake, which is nice, I guess. I'm getting one of each. Well, I'm trying to get all the creatures as possible. Well, I'm trying to get as many mounts. I mean, seriously, I know I keep saying this every pack video, but look how many mounts I have. And then, of course, my pets as well. Yep. Yep, I've got a lot of pets and mounts. So there we go. I've also got myself a lean-to tent. And it goes on a floor medium hook. Or large one. So let's take a look at that. That seems like an interesting name, doesn't it? A lean-to tent. What is a lean-to tent? Is it lean to the side or something? I don't know. I mean, I could have just looked at the preview. But I prefer to look at everything in all its glory. Oh, it's this! Oh, okay, it's one of these little tents, which you would sometimes see on Droman Cass or at Imperial bases. Well, I guess maybe sometimes Republic bases as well, I guess. But there we are, I got one of those now, which I could probably put that in my Yavin 4 stronghold. You know, if anyone wanted to just uh, camp out in my stronghold, then they can. They can. I need to do like a party in my stronghold at one time. You know, I should have done it for the launch of Knights of the Fallen Empire, but I never did one. Mm. Maybe I'll do a party where you can all come to my stronghold. Well, obviously maximum of 60 people, but eh, why not? Why not? I still want to add hooks on top of there. Please, by the way, add two extra hooks on top of there. That'd be great. That'd be really great. Uh, right, and that's what we've got for that. The next, but we're only three packs in, and already I've talked for about 11 minutes. Seriously. Uh, we have the Outlander Observer Supplementary Body Armor. Wasn't that Outlander stuff in the previous pack? I thought there was. Um, if I go to my collections, I'm pretty sure there was Outlander stuff in the last pack. I'm really sure there was. Uh, Outlander. Uh, this is Outlander Observer. Oh, okay. So it was um, Explorer, Maverick, Patroller, Scavenger, Officer, and Sentry. And this is obviously Observer now. So that it's a it is Outlander, but it's a new <laughs> Outlander one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I've got the helmet, belt, and bracers. Bam and bam. Okay, so we we'll look at the. Okay, it's like an eye patch, I guess. If you want to have an eye patch, I was gonna say, is that attached to my <laughs> to my horn? It goes through my horn. Ooh, they must have done some drilling to do that. <laughs> they must have drilled through my horn to do that. Yes, uh, we've also got the bracer as well, which is okay. That looks not too bad. It's got its own little texture. And then, of course, we've got the belt as well, which, you know, 
belts and braces are, are never interesting. They are never interesting. Uh, and we've also got the weapon stand. Well, we've, we've got an armor locker, and we, now we've got a weapon stand. It's all about armors and weapons today, which is good. Okay, I'll put that down and take a look what it looks like. Oh, it's okay. So it's like uh, your weapons are there, and then it's like a target which people have shot at. Okay, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh, and it even smokes as well. That's a nice touch. But I've never seen that before. Huh. Is that a brand new decoration that they've just added? Or they're going to add in future patches in terms of the story? I've... Where where in the game is that? Anyone tell me? Also, what does that say in Orobesh? I, I still haven't learned Orobesh. I sort of started learning it and then I kind of forgot. Um, I don't know what it reads. I know, I know that's a T, but that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. And I can't remember what the what was what's, what was the what was the K. I know it wasn't. I know the K isn't a K, but what is the K? I thought it was an A. I don't know. I'm forgetting things now. I'm forgetting my Orobesh, what I've learned for Orobesh. But you know, I need to start learning before the Force Awakens, so that if I see Orobesh in the film, I could be like, I know what that says. I know what it says. Anyway, the next pack cont. I've turned around. The next pack contains. <laughs> Uh, the Outlander Gorilla upper body armor and the Merim Dart Frog. Yay! I got a frog for a mount! Lovely. Well, it's not an actual frog, obviously. Uh, what was it? It was the Merim Dart Frog. There it is. Hong Kong. Oh, it's one of those beep beep ones. Okay. One of the little cute beep beep. Blimey, that has a noise to it, doesn't it? When it starts out. I mean, I guess I, I like the, the back of it. I like that it lights up and everything. And I guess I do like the thunder of when you stop and start. So it like sucks it back in. Which is quite this is quite a nice touch. Don't like the colour though. I mean I know blue is my favourite colour, but it's blue and sort of like a horrible purple colour, which I don't really like. But I love how the front has like a little cute face. You know Welmer? Welmer front the Pokemon Welmer. It remi this this reminds me of that. Am I the only one that ever th that thinks that? This this reminds me of the Whelmer Pokemon. In, I think, was it the third generation? Or fourth generation Pokemon? I don't really know. But anyway, that's that mount. And we've also got the Outlander Gorilla upper body armor. It's always good when you get the upper body armor because they go for a lot more than the supplementary and lower body armor stuff. Um, okay. It's pretty basic, though. I don't think I'll get much money for it, though, to be honest. I should really move this over here. But there we go. The next pack contains, zoom out, uh, flag alliance. Oh, I've got a hanging alliance flag, which is good, because I'm trying to get as many flags as I possibly can, so that I can just litter them all over my, my, my stronghold. Wait, an, a what? An armory one? Really? I wonder if I'll get that. I guess, yeah, that's, that's in the strategy alliance pack. Okay, maybe I'll get that. I guess we'll find out. What was the thing called again? I completely forgot. Flag alliance. Let's take a look at that. Blimey, that is big. Yeah, you definitely want that hanging high for sure. But there we are. There's an alliance flag if you want that. Which is quite nice. I like it when it hangs like that. And of course, if you want to, you can walk through it. Oh, you can't walk... Th oh, you actually can't walk through it. And is it actually clipping through the floor? Oh, okay. So if I were to move that up, I... Okay. Move that... Oh, blimey, it is a lot bigger than you think it is. Wow. Okay, that is massive. And of course, you can't go through it either. I guess it's okay that you can't go through it, but you know, it'd be, it'd be nice if there was like, like cape effects where you walk through it and it just sways in the wind, but no, unfortunately not. And we also got the, was that it? Uh, oh, the skiff guard supplementary body armor. The skiff guard. Oh, that flag is going to get in the way. I may need to put that away. Uh, wear that, wear that, and wear that. That is an interesting helmet. It's almost like a weird sort of doctor helmet. You know, you know how you sometimes see these quirky doctors in movies and they're wearing this weird headpiece or weird goggles. Kind of reminds me of that, but sort of, but not. But actually, no, that reminds me of Ray's armor. Uh, you know Ray from The Force Awakens? Well, obviously, who doesn't these days? Um, but Ray's headset, Red Ray's helmet, reminds me of that a little bit. And then, of course, you've got the braces as well, which kind of almost looked like her braces, sort of. And of course you've got the belt, which has, um, I guess, bullets of some kind. I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know the type of bullets, but there we go. And I've got a bunch of pouches all the, all the way around. It's literally just a pouch belt, which I guess is okay. I need to get rid of that because that is getting in the way. But it's nice to know that they're having bigger 
flags now, which is quite nice. Uh, the next pack contains... Seriously, we're nearly 20 minutes in and I have only opened seven packs. Seriously? Seriously? Uh, the Dastler Colossus. So let's take a look at that. Aha! It's one of these because I have the Dastler Titan, don't I? I do indeed. Ooh, that looks quite nice. A nice aqua blue as well. It is very, it is very shiny. It is a lot shinier than previous mounts have been. But I like it. I really like it. And there we are. Although, what's Kranatoka seeing from his perspective? Yeah, you can sort of see. Yeah, I guess so. And we also got the Outlander Observer upper body armor, which we shall take a look at now. Let's wear that and wear that. I like that. That is a nice jacket. Now that could be my new Imperial Agent jacket, because I did have some Imperial armor before and I thought it would work well on Maladar, but it didn't. But this one looks like it could. Well, sort of. I don't know about the neck bit. But yeah, we could give it a shot. We could certainly give it a shot. The next pack contains... The Ambient Machine Tech Lab and also an Advanced Farmhand Blue Eviscerating Crystal. Let's take a look at how blue it is. Hello, can I, can I, why aren't it working? Do I actually need to, oh, I ain't actually need to be, oh, let me get my lightsaber. And there it is in all its glory. Oh, it's going back to the classic sort of blue. I like that. I really like that. I did see that one of the lightsaber crystals, or it might have been an actual lightsaber, had like a weird mist around the lightsaber color. I wonder if I'll get that, but I like that blue. That's a very nice classic blue. To be honest with you, if you want to be like a full-on Jedi, then that is the colour for you. Uh, we've also got the Ambient Machine Tech Lab. So no doubt it's going to make it sound like a tech lab in this room. So let's take a look at that. And here's the sound of a tech lab. Yeah, that sounds like a tech lab. Just a bunch of beeps. Really? Yeah. Just your classic noise. Yeah. Not much I can really say about that, to be honest with you. Uh, the next pack contains the High Rotti YH55 and the Dark Frog again. I already own one of those because I got one earlier on, but let's take a look at the High Rotti YH55. Pretty much like my other High Rotties that I've got, but just in a different colour, of course. Sort of like a, a brownish black. Is it brown? Yeah. Or sort of a charcoal colour, in a way. Charcoal. Yeah, I guess. Well, there we are. Well, there's that, if you want that. Obviously, no doubt I'll get another one in this pack, because I seem to be getting a lot of the mounts, which I already... Which I... Well, I'm getting the same mounts in, this, in these packs. So, yeah. Uh, we've got another flag. I wonder if that'll go for a lot of money, because that is a massive flag, and I get the feeling... Well, I get the feeling they're a common drop. Unless, of course, you know, they're like the act dog, where <laughs> I'll just get it. You know, I'll just get them. Uh, but do I want another one of those flags? No, I'll sell that one. And of course, we've got another weapon stand, which I already have. The next pack contains uh, another tech lab and a Nexu. I got myself a Nexu. I didn't realise there was another companion. I guess they're adding a companion in each pack. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, let's go get myself the Nexu, shall we? I guess we've got to go to the fleet for it. Uh, Beastmaster Rickmar on the fleet. All right, let us go. You know, with all the companions that we now actually have, they really should allow us to put our companions in our starship. Wh whichever companions we want, place on like a hook in our starship. That would be really nice. Um, oh, we're going to the same person then. Oh, you've put the Act Dog away. How dare you put the Act Dog away? Where's the Nexu then? Usually we'd have it out for show, but you don't this time. Okay. Here to pick up a bit of support, are you? You know what you're getting into with these beasts, eh? I do. You'd better. These are war beasts, bred and trained for fighting. They respect strength, and that's it. You sure you're the sort for the job? Of course. What do you expect? It is a certainty. It is, yeah. Alright then. Let's see that license, and I'll get you sorted. Thank you. And now I have my very own Nexu, which I'll show off once I'm at my stronghold. Come on, Nexu. Get through the door. Come on. Come on, boy. There we go. Oh, he looks so happy, doesn't he? He looks so happy. Well, there we are. There is my very own Nexu companion. I really wish Bio would, al would allow us to name our creature companions. I mean, they, I, I know they're probably worried about inappropriate names, 
but I don't know, just kind of like the same system as actually creating a character and choosing a name for your character. Obviously, you know, allow people to have whatever name they want. I mean, if you want to name all your companion, all your com creature companions Bob, then you can do that. It allows us to not have that restriction, but you know, I I want to be able to name your creature companions. It's just like a little small quality of life that maybe they can just sneak in in a patch. Maybe just just sneak it in. Just sneak it in anywhere. Anywhere. Just sneak it in. Anyway, I'm bored of you now, Nexu. You can go away. I'm not really bored of my Nexu. I like my Nexu. My Nexu is cool. And we've got another ambient machine, a tech lab. Oh, yes, we were opening packs, weren't we? Uh, but I've already shown you the tech lab. Or oh, you've already heard the tech lab. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, got some scrap, companion gift, and we've also got the armory monitor, which I showed you before, but we'll take a look at it in close detail. And also the munitions stockpile. So, first, let's take a look at the screen. Oh, wow, that is a big monitor. I thought it was a lot smaller than that. I was going to say, why is it going for a big hook like that? I thought it's going to go on a small hook like that, but wow! That is huge! Well, there we are. I wonder where I could put that. That I love, I really love that, but I don't know where to put it. Where could I put it? <laughs> I don't know, but hey, it's, it's pretty much just, um... Take, yeah, it's pretty much just taken from the side of the GTN, but... At the end of the day, it's it's a nice screen. I really like that. I like that. I I really do. <laughs> uh, it does remind it, it does remind you a lot of the GTM. But hey, do I, can I keep it out? I don't know if it'll get in the way. Will it get in the way? No, you can't see it. That's fine. Although it, it sort of um, restricts the camera a little bit. Oh, yeah, it does get. Uh, if I'm close enough, that's fine. Yeah, that's. Mm, no. Up. Oh, up. 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 Close up. There we go. That's fine. It'll be fine to stay there for a little while. And we've also got the... Where was it? It's gone. It was the... No. Munition stockpile. Let's take a look at that. And it's pretty much what it says on the tin. Munition stockpile. There's a bunch of... Uh, well, I assume... Missiles in here. Or grenades. Large grenades. I mean, actually, you could press a button and it would open up and just all pour out. But no, of course. By the way, I don't want to have you make a mess in your strongholds. Even though they pretty much gave me just a whole pile of junk as a decoration, <laughs> you know? Oh well, the next pack contains. Uh, ooh, armor this time. Have I already shown you these? We got the Overwatch Enforcer lower body armor, which I have not shown you, and the Overwatch Enforcer supplementary body armor. So let's show you them both together, shall we? Let's wear that and wear that. And then we shall wear that, that, and that. I swear that was one that wasn't also an enforcer. Was that another one? I don't know. Eh, I guess not. Well, there we are. There's that. There's the helmet. Ugh. I don't like the helmet. I guess it makes you look like a Power Ranger. I guess if you could, you could yeah, you could dress up as a Power Ranger. No doubt. A bunch, I want some. I want five people. Okay. Okay. Someone listening to this right now. I want you to get four of your friends to get the full set of this armor, and I want it to be a white one, a red one, a blue one, a pink one, and a yellow one. And I want you to send me the picture, and if you send me the picture, if you do that of all five of you together, the first person to actually do that, I will give you a super crap. <laughs> well, no, I super- yeah. yeah, I'll give you a super crate. I'll give you- I'll give all of your friends a super crate. Of whatever shipment that's available. Whatever shipment you like. <laughs> But if anyone ever does that, that would be amazing. Obviously, you'd have to actually try and get this armor, which could cost you a lot of money. Who knows? But I want you... Th it has to be in the same picture. You all have to be in the same picture. And I'll give you... And I'll give all five of those people a super crate. Yeah? Yeah? Deal? Deal? Obviously, no one's ever going to go for that. But the first person to do that for me... I'll even show it in the next pack video of the first person who does it to me. Um, but that would be amazing. I'd love to see that. Because that definitely looks like a... Uh, I didn't show you the whole thing, did I? <laughs> I'm getting so sidetracked. Um, I would, yeah, I would definitely love to see that. Uh, we've also got the. Oh, that was also what was it? That was the. That was the. That was the. That was the. Um, um, that, that, and that. Okay, that was the belt as well. <laughs> there was the braces and the trousers and the boots. Definitely Power Ranger material <laughs> for sure. Uh, okay, and the next pack contains. I'll get rid of that for now. Uh, another armory monitor that I, g I hope that goes for a lot of money because wow, seriously, that is massive. Uh, the Outlander Gorilla upper body armor. Oh, I got hiccups now. Have I already shown you that? I have already shown you that, so we shall move on. 
The next pack contains uh, another Mero and Dark Frog, uh, but this time got the Alliance Reconnaissance Lower Body Armor. That's new. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, I like those trousers. Those trousers are nice. They're the sort of trousers I aim to buy. I try to find in shops in real life, but I just can't find them. Just can't find because I don't know what's the, what those sort of trousers are called in real life. In real life. Ooh, I like that. It's like some uh, ammo strapped to the side of your belt. Your your belt. Your boot. But I really like that. That's quite nice. Yeah. There we are then. That's some nice trousers and some boots. The next pack contains. Uh, the, the, the reconnaissance lower body armor, which I just shown you, and what, what was the other one? The outlet? No, it wasn't that one. It was. It was. It was. It was snow trooper upper body armor. Snow trooper now, eh? Mm, I see. Well, there we are. There's that. Um, I, I guess it's okay. Eh, it's it's okay. I mean, it's definitely white. It's like snow. You could definitely blend in. Definitely, for sure. But I don't know if I would like that. The next pack contains Mandalorian Seeker Supplementary Body Armor. Have I shown you that? I don't think I have. No. Okay. Wear that, wear that, wear that. Yep, that is definitely a Mandalorian helmet. And of course, we've got the braces, which are kind of plain. And a belt, which you, I, that belt looks very familiar. Definitely looks familiar. I notice I haven't encountered Malgus's armor yet. Hmm. No doubt Malchus' armor is quite a rare drop. And what was the other thing we got? We also got a... What was routine maintenance? Oh, routine maintenance is a companion gift, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? Yeah, routine maintenance is a companion gift. What was the other thing? Outlander Observer upper body armor. I've always shown you that, haven't I? Yes, I have. So we don't need to see that again, wherever it may be. The next pack contains... Mandalorian Seeker supplementary body armor. All right, let's take a look at that. Where, where, where? Have I, wait, no, I've already shown you that, haven't I? Was it supplementary? Oh, yeah, I've already shown you that. Duh, duh. Well, I've opened another one now, so that's fine. Uh, and we've also got the Zakulan Exiles Blaster. Let's move you up there so that you can see clearly. And it has little two flashing lights, which I guess are supposed to be like static or something. I know it's got a blade at the end as well. So there we are. That's a nice. That's a nice gun. That is a very nice gun. The next pack contains... We're almost there. I know this is a lot longer than previous uh, pack videos, but, you know, only 10, 11 more to go. Uh, I've already shown you that color crystal. It's uh, This one's indestructible this time compared to the eviscerating. Uh, we've also got the ambient machine party chatter, which, I don't know, if I ever have that party going, like I said before, maybe I'll have that in the background. Yeah, let's put this on this wall so that we can take a look at what it sounds like. Take a look at what it sounds like. Hear what it sounds like. Get your grammar right, Charlie. Get your grammar right. And then... Activate. Can I reach? Yes, Kranatoko can indeed reach. I hear absolutely nothing. Did that even work? I couldn't hear anything. I don't know if it even worked. Because I've got, I've got my volume down low, so I don't... Let me... Hold on. There is absolutely nothing coming from that. And there is supposed to. I get the feeling Bioware may have forgotten to add the sound. Bravo, Bioware. Bravo. Bravo. Unless I'm just going deaf, because I literally can't hear anything. I don't know if you guys can hear anything. Uh, was that it from that one? I think it was... Yes, it was. The next pack contains uh, another one of those tents and the Mandalorian Seeker upper body armor. I haven't shown you that. So let's take a look at them both together. Where and where. And then where, where and where. And I'm slowly starting to look like a proper Mandalorian. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice little stain. What's, yeah, it's pretty much stained armor, isn't it? I like that. It's quite nice. Or the... Mm, no, sorry. I'm not going to ruin it for you. Sorry. I'm not going to ruin that half for you. It looks nice. It looks nice stained. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> God, you guys know what I mean. Uh, so there we are. Yeah, that's. I like that. I really like that. That is quite nice. Especially the backpack. That is very nice indeed. Uh, the next pack contains... The encased warhead stockpile. And of course, we've got... Uh, 
uh, the same blaster, is it? He's a cool and exiles blaster. Okay, I've already shown you that. But let's take a look at the warhead stockpile. It's definitely all about weapons this time, isn't it? I get the feeling it's going to be on a big, big hook. Am I right? Uh, I sort of right. It could be on a medium or large. Uh, it's encased, isn't it? Uh, Got to go to E, 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 E. Blimey, there's a lot of A's. <laughs> definitely a lot of A's. I wish I got a lot of A's in uh, my... My, 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 my GCSEs. Yes, that's what I was meant to say. And there we are, just a bunch of warheads. If you want to have a nice stuck pile just littered all through your stronghold. No doubt people are going to have a whole bunch of these all over their strongholds acting like they're cool. You might as well, you might as well, you might as well be David Cameron. Yeah, you might as well be David Cameron. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the next pack, I'm going to die for that joke. The next pack contains... <laughs> Uh, all the stuff I've already got. Fine, let's just move on. Next pack contains Skiff Guard. Ooh, that's new. Skiff Guard upper body and lower body armor. So we'll wear that and wear that. Where's the lower body armor gone? It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. There we are. Ooh, that's that's okay. I like that. I really do like that. I don't know where you would wear that, though. Um, I guess if you want to try and be like a... I was going to say a villager, maybe. Maybe maybe a villager that's trying to go to war and it's just putting scrap metal on him to try and protect himself from some swords and lightsabers. Yay! 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 <laughs> Next pack contains... Give me another license. I'd love another ice li 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 license. Uh, Missions stockpile, which I've already shown you. The Astromech we we the the requisition. <laughs> uh, so what is? I guess that's supposed to be like a little droid that does something. I don't really know. Uh, obviously, it'll be an A. A A A A A. Where are you? Astromech requisition. Oh, it's a little droid that's just been piled away. Oh no, it's just been chucked away. Oh, poor little droid. You know what it should do? It should just sort of randomly beep at you. Just, you know, once in a blue moon, just... Bleep, 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 bleep. And then you never hear it for like a week again. They should really do that. Oh, see, if I was working at Bioware, I would be thinking about all of this. And I would be saying, well, why don't you add that in? Just, just add that in, just to surprise people. Just, just do it, you know? Doesn't have to happen all the time. Just, just a little tiny... It's the little things that count, Bioware. I mean, you're sort of getting it right with the quality of life changes, but it's the little things. It's the little things that matter, really. The next pack contains... Uh, stuff which I've already got, but I've got the Heroes one now, which is expertise. So I've got Endurance, uh, Critical Rating, and Expertise, but no power. I could do with a power one if I'm going to use it on Strander. I've uh, got another one of the flags, but we've also got a bomb carrier, which is on a centerpiece. Okay, and it could also go on a floor large one as well. Could it really go on one of these? Um, or we'll put it... We'll, yeah, we'll put it over there. What was it called? It was the uh, bomb carrier. B, 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 B. B, B, B. Wait, it's not that. There it is. There it is. Why would you put that on a centerpiece if it can just fit on a... Okay, I may need to just get rid of... <laughs> Hold on a minute, I need to get rid of some decorations so you can actually see what the hell you're looking at. Okay, so it's one of these vehicles that you may just see at some point. That you, you just you just notice in the background. But, you know, if you want to be inside it, that, that's quite nice. It's, 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 it's quite cute. It's quite a nice little truck. i got my own big vehicle now. And it'd be nice if you could go inside, but... Oh well. Can't always be happy. But there we are. Well, that's that. Although I always thought everything hovered. Is that hovering? I don't know. I always thought all the vehicles hovered. But this one looks like it has wheels. Ish. Is that wheel? No, it's not wheels. So it does. it is meant to sort of hover. It is sort of above the ground, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh well. Let's put that away because it takes up a lot of room. A lot of room. Did we also get something else? We also got the flag which I already showed you. Four more to go. We're, we're we're nearly there. According to my uh, my audacity recording, I've been recording for about forty odd minutes. Yes. Uh, the snowtrooper upper body armor. I've already shown you that one. I showed you snowtrooper something. I thought it was the upper body armor. Uh, b -b 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 
yep, I've already shown you that. And these are coolant exiles off hand blasters. So if you want to wear the. Why did I just put that away? If you want to wear the main blaster and the off hand blaster, then you can. I guess they're exactly the same. Did I just do it? Did I just do it again? I just clock. I just. Oh, silly me. Uh, off hand blaster. That is not. That 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 is not an off-hand blaster. That is not an off-hand blaster. That is a lightsaber. <laughs> um, and I can't exactly wear it to show you. Okay, I can't preview that for you. There we go. I have to. I have to. That. Oh, that's why. Oh, I see now. Well, there we are. Well, that, ignore that one. Look at the look at the off-hand one. There we go matches the main hand one which is quite nice pew 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 three more packs to go give me another one of the licenses that'd be nice got another armory monitor and i got another high rotty i can't say that word well, that, that word high rotty ah so many letters sound exactly the same uh we've got the skiff guard upper body armor i'm pretty sure i've already shown you that Yes, I have. And we also got the Overwatch Enforcer lower body armor. And I'm sure I've already shown you that as well. Uh, Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Where are you? Yep, I've already shown you that. And the last pack contains... Another weapon stand and a high roti YH-55. So, I didn't get Malgus's armor. What a shame. What a shame. No, that, that's going to go for a lot of money. But I did get the Nexu. I did get the Nexu Companion, which is quite nice. I like that, but I just wish that we could name them. Ah, ah well, ah well. Well, there we are. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And from me and my Nexu, we will see you next time. And a farewell to you.